Hi, Caleb with Brownells here, back with another gun from the vaults. And today we have the model of 1917 Enfield manufactured by Winchester. Now, this gun was a American production of the 1914 uh, that was produced during World War I. Now, America was producing a lot of these guns for the British. The reason that they made this one is because when America entered the war, instead of retooling all their manufacturing plants that uh, Remington and Winchester were running, they decided to just take this gun, rechamber it in 30 out six versus the uh, previous P14, which was a British 303, and that saved a lot of retooling time and effort. And uh, they, that, that allowed the U.S. to enter the gun, or enter the war, excuse me, with this gun. It made things a lot easier, and it's a very good, solid design. Uh, it's built to, com of course, compete with the German Mauser, um, and kind of came into production during the, the Boer Wars and, and things like that. And uh, that's why this gun exists. But super cool gun. Uh, let's take a quick look at it here. You have your fixed, very robust front sight up here, machined from nice one solid piece of steel. Coming back, you have your traditional wood forend that you, of course, see on a lot of those uh, rifles from that time period. Just nice military stock, sling swivels. Coming back, of course, you have your U.S. model of 1917 Winchester markings. And then the rear sight aperture. Now, super cool design, super robust. You have these uh, solid wings that are machined into the actual receiver itself to protect this rear sight. And then you have your peep in the rear and then it flips up to be an adjustable sight. And this one here actually adjusts all the way up to 1600 meters, which obviously isn't for point fire, that's more of a volley fire type setup, but very cool design there, super solid. Obviously this gun has withstood the test of time, this is a pretty old rifle itself. And then of course at the end you have your metal military butt plate. Now, kind of getting into it from uh, getting out of the general aspect and into more of a personal aspect about how I actually feel about this rifle. Um, having been in the military, this is certainly a long rifle. You're not going to be clearing buildings with it. Uh, you may be, but it's, it's going to be rather awkward. Now, in trench warfare, shooting from trench to trench over the line, yeah, awesome. This is a great rifle. Uh, like I pointed out, that volley fire aspect of it on the rear sight, you know, you can get a bunch of soldiers throwing a lot of lead in one direction, um, keeping an enemy suppressed or taking out targets, you know, whatever you need to do. The uh, actual, uh, I'm going to go back to the design of the ears around this rear sight. I just think it's, it's aesthetically pleasing for one. It just looks good. But protecting that rear sight is definitely a must whenever you're crawling through, you know, the trenches, in the mud, in the dirt, you're being shot at, you're taking artillery fire, a machine's gun to have you pinned down. The last thing you're really worried about is protecting your rear sight. You're worried about protecting yourself. So that's just one less thing you have to worry about. Last thing you want is to throw up your rifle whenever you do see the enemy and not have a functioning rear sight. So definitely awesome feature there. Now, getting into the mechanics of it, you know, the safety itself, it has to be cocked to put the safety on, but the bolts in the cock position here, the safety doesn't really block the trigger. It disconnects the trigger from the sear, which is a really good safety design because there's you know, no chance of anything slipping off. Uh, so super robust there, obviously a military rifle design. All in all, excellent rifle, excellent caliber, of course the American 30-06. And that is the 1917 Winchester. So. If you have any questions on this rifle, feel free to leave us a comment down below. I know I didn't get into every s small feature of it here, didn't really have time for that, but if you'd like to add to it, leave it down below. And of course, if you have any questions, give us a call on the tech line, and we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.